first thing that I realized by watching this film is that it must be very difficult for a newcomer director to direct an actor like you. So how was working with yourself? <laughs> I got along pretty well with myself. I mean, it helped that I had written the script, you know, with my friend Robert Knott and, um, and had really penetrated the book, obviously, and made the choices of what we wanted to tell about these people and what not, because, you know, the whole novel would be a much longer film. So uh, you've already, you already start making decisions, you know, as an actor, because you're writing it, uh, what you want to portray. And so, you know, as time goes by, but yeah, I get along, I, I, I work pretty well with myself. Back then, the idea of democracy was kill one to save the life of a thousand or to protect a thousand people. Do you think that um, it's also the same idea nowadays? Boy, uh, I'm not quite sure what the idea is right now. I'm really not. Okay. Uh, are you afraid of the situation that we are living? I don't, I'm not afraid. Uh, I'm concerned about the direction uh, that th things have been heading, but I mean the world is in a mess, let's face it, you know. It seems, I guess it always has been, but when you think about, you know, the genocide that's, that's happening, the, the, the war, the impossibility of, s seemingly impossibility of peace in the Middle East, the whole Iraq situation, and, you know, I, I do think things can improve, and I certainly hope that they will. But there's so much injustice and so much uh, hypocrisy that it's sometimes it's pretty tough. Well, never is not a word for a hero. In your vocabulary, do you have any words for heroes? Do I have any words for heroes? Gosh, good luck. <laughs> <laughs> That's a Whoever one. they are. I mean, I think most hero heroism these days happens in really small ways that most people don't hear about. Mm -hmm. You have portrayed Pollock, you have portrayed Beethoven. Is there anybody else in that, you know, has experienced a career that you would like to portray? That you would find challenging, oh, probably? you know, pro I, would, I would imagine so. I can't really th think of at the moment someone that, whose life I've, I've, I've driven to penetrate in that way, um, I really can't, you know, I mean, I, there may be, probably, but I don't know who it is at the moment. René Zellweger says to your character, the character that René plays in the movie, says that, uh, uh, okay, who else are you going to kill soon enough? And uh, that makes your character really angry. So what turns you angry in real life? What turns me angry in real life is uh, you know, I have a hard time with uh, a, a people that that mislead you on purpose, mm -hmm. people that uh, that lie intentionally. You know, it's one thing to say something and then realize you made a mistake, or but it's another thing to say something and know that you have no intention of following up on it. Uh, I don't like people who think they know what they don't know, who was, you know, people who, who like to, who have to know everything and have to be able to tell you that they know everything. The, the, the insecurity, I, I don't, I don't, you can't, you can't get angry with people that are insecure but you can get angry with people that are dealing from a place of fear and insecurity in ways that are uh, destructive or disruptive. Uh, that, that I have a, a hard time with that. How difficult is it for you to say, I'm sorry? Uh, it's fairly easy. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think that by telling somebody that you are sorry for something that you could change really his life? I'm sorry? Do you think that by telling... I'm sorry. Yeah, uh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> yeah. I w repeat yeah. the question. Yes, do you think that by telling somebody that, I'm sorry, I did a mistake, that can really change somebody's life? Just that word, you know, well, that, that has that, the power. I think, that the, I think that the act of forgiveness, you know, in its truest form, is pretty powerful, if it's really meant. Mm -hmm. You know, it's easy to say, I'm sorry, and 
as, you know, assuage yourself of any guilt or feeling of wrongdoing just by saying it, not really mean it, but just, you know, to say it so you don't have to worry about it. That, that, that's kind of hollow, but if the, the true act of forgiveness, of for really forgiving somebody for doing you wrong on some level, uh, and or asking for forgiveness, basically, and saying, I, I really am sorry, I truly am sorry, and I truly ask your forgiveness for this, that's, that's a pretty powerful thing, which is, seems to be a fairly rare commodity these days. Mm -hmm. Well, also, Appaloosa and a lot of other Westerns, they have a, a, a huge similarity with the ancient Greek tragedy. They have the same structure. I don't know if you are familiar with the ancient Greek drama, uh, but uh, if you are, did you have any kind of inspiration? Well, no, I mean, I know there was a certain classical uh, aspect to the story in, in, in the sense of, you know, human drama playing out in the way that it did and uh, certain people meeting their doom because of certain things, hubris or whatever it might be, but I'm not a, a Greek scholar by any means. I'm certainly aware of uh, so, some of the mythology, but I'm not, I, I was not saying this is an analogy to whatever. <laughs> <laughs>